Welcome back to the Grappling with Sandy. We're continuing on with these rolling um, drills. The rolling drills I was saying before, we have uh, what I call a, a regard or a shoulder a shoulder roll, but you roll back and you turn, you kind of reface them on your back into guard. So that's why I call it a regard from turtle. Uh, the next one, the next two kind of go together. And before I get to the Grammy roll, which is kind of a combination of all three of them, in my opinion, and to me, it looks like there are a number of different ways you get into to Grammy rolling. I never learned the Grammy roll in wrestling. I didn't go that uh, far into wrestling. But um, this point being, the next move I want to show you is a forward roll. All right. Now, there's kind of, to me, there's two ways of learning the forward roll. And it's different than a somersault. All right. A somersault where we're kind of, I'll show you what a somersault is. A lot of times, you'll, you'll have a somersault here, and they roll over their forehead. Their hand, maybe their hands come down in here, and then they kind of come up in here. They tuck their head, and they roll forward. Ooh, maybe dizzy. So the way that worked was they tuck their head. They didn't land on their head. You don't land on your head. I mean, here, this is, a, this is a somersault. We're not doing this. I mean, here, your head comes down, and you're kind of landing on the back of your head here. All right? So a forward roll is either taught one of two ways. The first one is um, your hand goes between your legs, right? And you're rolling over your shoulder to your, your, your opposite hip, right? So the first one is it's easier to learn on your knees, and then we can kind of progress it to here, to here, to putting a little... Um, heat onto it, a little run into it, right? Easiest to start right here. So the forward roll, we're going to start by just taking your right hand, and I'm going to try to do this as slow as possible. It's usually easier with a little momentum, but for teaching purposes, my hand is going to go all the way through my legs. Hmm. When we did that shoulder roll, my hand went off to the side, right? And I went from my right to left. This one, the forward roll, my head is going to come off to the side. Again, I'm not rolling over my head, but I'm rolling onto the, the shoulder, the neck and shoulder area, right? I'm rolling onto the shoulder, <clears throat> putting my hand between my legs, and I'm going to roll from my shoulder, my right shoulder to my left hip. And I'm going to fa still be facing you. There are a couple of uh, keys to, to do this, and then the, if you do it wrong, it's really apparent that you did it wrong. And I'll show you that in a second. So you just take your hand, dive it through your legs. And here, I'm gonna get up on my feet, right? I'm gonna roll to this show, to this hip, to my left hip. Boom, and I'm facing you. So my, my, uh, my right leg should be pointing forward. And then typically what happens is you roll up into your combat base, and then you can get ready to go again. So let's do it again. So slowly, as slow as I can go. Hands gonna go through my leg. I'm gonna go up under my shoulder. I'm gonna go up under my feet. I'm gonna end up pushing with my right foot and throwing my left leg over because I want to land on my left hip. So as I go up, boom, facing you. Momentum. I'm tucking this leg, and now I'm gonna roll up into combat base with momentum. So I'm coming out of it. My leg is tucked, combat base, and I'm ready. Right. So, from here, as I roll out of it, my leg is tucked, or you can stay in this position, however you want to be. Right. One more time from this direction. <clears throat> and this is an important roll. Sometimes you see a lot of this forward roll, like um, Tony Ferguson, you see him in UFC rolling forward. A lot of times someone might have his back. Uh, I'm on the person's back. And what he'll do is just kind of uh, run forward, run forward, run forward. And then he'll just kind of just, you know, tuck his leg or, or roll his arm this way and um, roll over his shoulder. So from here, you know, he rolls in here and rolls over. So again, start with the lowest level uh, of progression. We'll start, this is a level one, right? 
knees wide, hand goes to your legs, onto your right shoulder. You're going to take your right foot and your left foot and push it in the air. My left foot's going to come up and kick through and over. And I'm rolling to my left hip. I mean, I'm in uh, a seated guard in here. I can butt scoot back. You know, we get into here. Do a little eight meters. Or as a, um, a person that I, uh, that I was showing in the video, he called them leg beaters, which makes more sense. Your legs are beating. So at any rate, um, so that's your forward roll. The other roll, uh, let me just show you what the airs look like, right? So first of all, even on here, so the hand can still come through. What happens is if people get up in here and they push with their left foot, and as they push their left foot, they fall over to the side like this. So again, I'm rolling over my right shoulder to my left hip, and I'm kicking my left leg over. I'm pushing my left weight. only helps me get up into this tripod. Now my left, weight is, left leg is unweighted, and I'm pushing with my right, rolling through, facing you. If you're, if you're rolling to the side, it's because you get this part right, and now you flop over and you push with both feet. And as you push, push with both feet, you go over here. You're pushing with both feet. All right? If I were to put my left arm through, I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna kick in here. I'm gonna kick with, I'm gonna push with my left foot and kick my right leg over, roll to my right hip, and I'm facing this direction. If you have a, a line in your mat or you put some chalk or whatever, you should be rolling nice and straight on that line, right? <clears throat> so that's your common error. So let me just do it from another angle so you can see it. So on my knees, my hand goes through my legs. I look up to the ceiling. I go up on both feet, unweight my left leg, kick it over, roll forward. Kind of your forward ninja roll. <clears throat> All right, and again, that one, that one can be if someone's holding onto your back, and uh, you just want to create distance. Uh, if they're holding on tight, this is kind of a hard roll. But as soon as you, as soon as you get up a little bit higher, you're up in here. Same thing. Hand comes through, and now you're going to roll to your right shoulder, to your left hip, and as you dive, still rolling. Right, a little bit higher. This is your next progression. Get from in here. Put your, put your hand, uh, palm down. Shoot your hand through your leg. As you come through, tuck your head. Roll forward. Your knees aren't touching here. Right. If you have a lot of space. Or you can do this in grass, whatever. You can have, you'll end up having more distance on your rolls. You can also create tight rolls. I don't know if I can create, how, how, how tight I can get. I don't think I can get two in here, but so I'm from in here. Maybe they have my waist. And I'm trying to fight them and I roll through it. <laughs> yeah, I can't get two, but they'll, they'll either fall forward or they'll let go. Right? So. That is your forward roll. Oh, the, the second part of that one, that's a forward roll with your legs through. A lot of other people will show the motion with their hand coming here, the hand coming to the outside. Now, a lot of wrestlers, I see a lot of wrestlers do this. What they do is they put their hand between themselves and, their, and the other person, the hand goes on the outside in here, and they still do the same thing. They roll forward, right? If you're familiar with that one, all you're doing from here is putting the hand in between you and your partner, right in here, and that's getting your shoulder down. You're still doing the same thing, but now your hand's not between your legs, right? Right here, right here, 
here comes down. two variations of the forward roll and between the legs, hand to the outside in between your partner. Again, your opponent is on your back. He's on your back somehow. Either he's got his hands wrapped around your waist, in right here, and then what you do is, the rest of the one I just showed you is your hand comes through on the side in here, and you roll out of it. The one I learned in jiu-jitsu, there's more hands here. As you get in here, they put your hands between my legs. Open my shoulder. The kicks go. <clears throat> that is your forward roll.